Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Welcome to our finale for Image Month. Uh, it's been kind of a rough ride. I was, I wanted to review mostly, like, a combination of, like, like, 90s Image stuff and, like, some of the newer stuff. But I didn't get, like, a lot, because of the stupid lockdown... I didn't get a lot of the comic books I wanted to review, unfortunately. Um, today, we're, we were supposed to review Cyber Force Awakening, but I decided not to since it took place, like, years, like, after, like, the the first reboot, which I only I only read the first issue. So, I, I, I was lost reading that, so I would have been lost reading the, the new one, so I'm... Uh, I am going to buy, you know, the digital copy for Volume One of Rebirth, uh, of the the cyber uh, of the 2012 Cyber Force series that I reviewed for our last review for Image Month. So today I'm reviewing uh, the Clock by <laughs> Matt Hawkins and who, who was the artist again? <laughs> Let me double check. It just says Matt Hawkins here, so I don't know if he did the did he do the art the art artwork as well. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So the the story for this comic book is basically you have this guy. What was his name? Doesn't tell me his name. <laughs> whatever. You have this researcher and his dad um, are working on on this. Um, here for this pandemic that's happening around the globe it's it's this new form of cancer that's going around killing people like killing people within like two months uh after his recent trip from nigeria which uh which ended up ending with a with a gunfight between rebels <laughs> uh he comes back to to, to america to find out his wife, his wife, uh, who had the the cancer, uh, is dead, and that, and now he's like, you know, le- uh, widowed, left to take care of his uh, nine year old daughter uh, by himself. But his his uh, dad is still around to help. Um, goes to a meeting, explains to the people in the government who's funding his um, research that. Yeah, within next year, like three three uh, billion people are going to die from this new strain, a uh, strain of cancer. <laughs> uh, after leaving uh, the meeting, right, he gets tackled by some guy uh, that uh, attached a note to him, and the note says his wife uh, was murdered. <laughs> she didn't die from the cancer. So now. What was like a sci-fi mystery is now a global. Now, now is a conspiracy story, <laughs> where like our main character has to unravel this uh, global conspiracy. So um, I don't know. The first issue kind of grabbed me, but it's the thing where the like modern day comics are too sh- short, and and this is like a four issue miniseries, so it's kind of going at this breakneck breakneck speed they didn't really explain much in the in the this issue uh like how long like how long this this thing has been going on for right and um it and then the the last and there's a lot of messaging about how like you know there's overpopulation blah 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 which the media has been and politicians have been telling us hey there's overpopulation there's overpopulation for decades but at the same time complain to people hey you're not you're not having enough babies so we're going to just so that justifies us to bring in like all this immigration right <laughs> all the to bring in people to re, to replace you uh, who will vote uh, leftists, right? <laughs> Not to get political, but it's, yeah, I don't know. I think the whole overpopulation uh, thing is just a scam to br- to bring in like you know immigration to lower to lower the um, labor uh, labor. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, 
to lower labor wages and increase the pr- uh, the price for housing and whatnot. It's just it's all a scam. They they basically want to turn people uh, turn most of the the country into um, low income wage slaves, pretty much, right? Uh, that's my opinion, but I don't know. Dude. So this comic book, I don't know. I thought if I were to give it a rain. Uh, it's like a 6 out of 10. I'm kind of interested. Uh, this was also another free issue. <laughs> I, like, I got this for free on Google Play, so you can just read it there. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I might, um, I might get the next issue. It's like 253. Too bad there's not, there's not just a bundle, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys decide if you want me to review it. Also, I picked up, I picked up a new, uh, graphic novel called, uh, The Meta Barons Volume 1. Oh my god. Stupid fucking Google. <laughs> I just want, just let me, like, click on it so I can read about this book. Okay. Yeah, it's by Alejandro Jodorowsky and Yuan Gimenez. It's like a it's like a space opera, and the artwork for it looks super fucking cool. It has like it has almost like a perfect rating on Google Play. So I'm looking uh, forward to reading and review that reviewing that. Um, yeah, so I am going to uh, buy more image stuff. That we're going to review because I felt like yeah, I didn't review enough image stuff for Image Month. Uh, but yeah, for our comic book reviews, I'm going to review all the sh- all the stuff we picked up in our comic book hauls. And once that's done, we're gonna re- we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back and review more Image uh, comic books. Okay, uh, that's and we're gonna try to review more like non-superhero comic books because you know like reviewing superhero uh comic books all the time might be like you know like a bit like you know redundant like people want some diversity right all right that's all i gotta say for this review peace